वेलकम बैक एवरी बडी सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वट वी हैव सीन दिट वट आर अ क्लास वट इज़ अ ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वट आर मैथड्स राइट इन टू डेज वीडियो वट विल डू विल विल क्रिएट आवर ओन क्लास एंड ऑब्जेक्ट एंड सी द प्रोसीजर हाउ कैन वी क्रिएट अ क्लास एंड देन आफ्टर वर्ड्स हाउ विल क्रिएट अ ऑब्जेक्ट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विद दिस वीडियो okay so i have already written down the steps for you that uh, what we do what is the requirement what is the uh, basic procedure in the formation of a class but uh, i'll i'll tell i'll explain you this steps afterwards let us first tell me uh, let us take uh, learn by the direct example okay uh, let us say i need to create a class reservoir so for defining a class put creating a class what you do what you need to do is you use the class keyword first c l a s s and then whatever you want to create a class uh, so let's say my class is reservoir i want to say i i, uh, I represent a class reservoir so whatever the name you want to give you start it with the capital name a capital letter right so then you go for a uh, reservoir so my capital letter r uh, it is a main point to remember so my class reservoir after then colon and then what to do is you define def a function a special function which is known as a init method uh, how you write it is that double underscore init and then you write double underscore and uh, this is also known as a constructor it is a kind of special method uh, first of all uh i'm I, it is a function but we are calling it a method because we are defining it under a class right so this is a difference between method and function whenever you define any function inside a class it will be known as a method so basically in it is a function so this is how we define a function right this is our uh, def then the function name so function name is in it but just because we are defining it in our class reservoir uh, i'll i'll te i'll tell you that it is a method so it what what the uh, what this input takes is uh, it always takes the first input that is by self you whenever you uh, always call a init method or a constructor you always use this self word i'll tell you what this represents afterwards then uh, what you uh, all the attributes which you want in your class it will take then so basically i'm defining class reservoir this means that i am defining a class uh, reservoir which actually represents uh, means which under which all kind of reservoirs comes you will understand how what i'm saying so what it takes is it takes let's say porosity which i say por it also takes what is the more um, important attributes for a reservoir permeability is also an important attribute right and then we say what is the depth of our uh, that zone so i'll say depth i'll say depth of my reservoir what is that so let's say uh, these three are basic uh, whatever we what, what we say that uh, basic attributes are all of the reservoirs right so i have defined this inside this init method then you uh, colon as simple as a uh, function creating a function then what you do is you create instance variables what instance variables is how you create instance variables is this is the syntax self dot so let's say uh, i want to know what my porosity is so if i say porosity it will give me por so whenever i type this kind of code it will give me the por means whatever the value i have given in the in the object you will understand in a by in a bit what i am doing if i say let's say call self dot permeability it will gives me P E R M, sorry. It will give me P E R M, and if I type self dot my depth, let's not uh, use depth because uh, depth is already there inside in the matrix. So I'll say depth of reservoir, like that. You can use the same code; it's not a problem. So depth, right? so i have created a class this is uh, this is uh, how you create a class now this porosity this permeability and this depth of reservoir is my instance variables instance means object right instance or object is the same thing so these are my instance variables and when i use these instance variables in this form like self dot my instance variable first then it will give me the first attribute this is the my first attribute this is my second attribute this is my third attribute 
this is self is already uh, is is means is present in every class so we don't uh, count it as a attribute so just ignore this this is my attribute 1 this is attribute 2 this is attribute 3 so this is how you define a class now let's go uh, before creating an object let's go and understood the steps uh, have i used the same steps or not right so my step one was you always use class keyword and then the name of class with first letter capital i have told you as it is we have done right then after step two was then define a special method that is init method right it is just a init method or constructor uh, syntax of the writing init method is that you write double underscore init double underscore then you write self then all the attributes whatever you want to write and self is the representation of an object i'll come to this statement uh, later on i'll tell you what what this means so uh, now step three is to create instance variables so how you create instance variables is self dot instance variable one that is my instance variable one here is porosity and which is equals to pur pur nothing but attribute one similarly i have created other two other two instance variables as well great now let's say i want to create an object now how do you create an object is you write the name of class first r e s e r v o i r and uh, what you want to do is you just enter all the attributes here now so my all the attributes are first one is porosity right so pur let's say in this my my uh, whatever object i'm creating my reservoir porosity here is 0.14 and then i will enter my perm that is permeability let's say my permeability is 35 milli darcy and depth of my reservoir is 4000 feet now this is how you define an object but you will have to create an object what to do is you create a variable right so let's say this is my data of reservoir a so now if i execute this this is how i have created an object now you see i can create multiple objects right so my reservoir b let's say resb how you write class name then the data of the reservoir b so my porosity is let's say 0.27 my permeability is 48 milli darches and my depth of the reservoir is uh, 2674 feet so this is how you create multiple objects now again what my class was reservoir so basically all kind of i'm creating a class reservoir which contains all kind of reservoir which have uh, these following properties which contains these following properties so i have my first object that is reservoir a and how this is how you create an object you write the class name then you write all the attributes of that reservoir a then the reservoir b and then similar manner so i can go on creating a multiple objects i can also do i can create n number of i, I can create reservoir c r e s e r v o i r and then let's say 0 0.24 45 it's 47 and we go for 3600 5 3655 great this is how you create an object now what is happening here now what is happening here suppose i want to see the porosity of my reservoir b i have created an object right these all are objects these all are objects let me write it down here okay so let's say i want to uh, see the porosity of uh, my reservoir a it means i want to get 0.14 value right so what i'll do is i'll simply call my res underscore a dot porosity let's see if i'm getting the results or not you see i'm getting the result so what is this happening what is this basically basically it is the same thing this one self dot porosity means whenever i write self dot porosity it will give me the pur and what the self here is now let's see now i've come back to this statement what this self is this self is nothing but the representation of the object so in this case let's say i have created this three kinds of objects right but all are belong to same class that is reservoir so what this self does is this self is representing your object only it doesn't matter what your object name is so even if i write even if i write now let's say if i write res underscore b self dot porosity so you see this self is just representing my object and it doesn't matter what my object name is 
so this time uh, it is taking self dot porosity is nothing but my res underscore b that is reservoir b dot porosity and hence it gives me the value of 0.27 right similarly i can go for let's say i want to calculate uh, my permeability of reservoir b p e r m e permeability and if i calculate this then it gives me 48 right now let's say i want to see the depth of my reservoir c so you just write for calcul for seeing the depth this is my attribute depth i want this depth right and what this depth is equal to this is equal to uh, self dot this my instance variable depth of uh, reservoir so what i'll do is i'll simply do self means my now i say reservoir c now and i want to calculate depth so i'll write depth of reservoir depth of reservoir now and if i do that so you see it gives me 3655 right so this is how you create objects and this is how you create a class now let's look at explanation once more whenever we call the class whenever we call the class whenever i'm calling the class reservoir uh, first thing is happening is first th first thing happens is this instruction uh, this init method or constructor gets called to prove this what we can do is we can add any statement uh, so whenever uh, whenever i'm calling this class reservoir this function is automatically getting called and that is why these instance variables are giving us results to more uh, furthermore clarity let us add underst and let us uh, just create a, st a statement here let's say uh, this works any statement you can write i am writing just this works so now you see i have called the object three times means i have called the class three times right basically i am calling the class three times so this is printing me this works this works this works because i have given a added this instruction here of print after uh, after the defining init function it means every time i am calling this class reservoir this first of all this uh, init method uh, gets initiated and hence why i am getting this uh, line which is getting printed of three times this works this works this works because i called the reservoir class here three times right now if i delete them if i if i have just called this object it will just get printed one time so this is uh, how a class is uh, running whenever you call the class first thing happens is that init method gets called and then i've already told you that self represents our object means that underscore init underscore takes always the first input of self so i have told you this already that uh, self is the always first input which you give inside init method so our object name doesn't matter here it is just representing object it doesn't matter what object we are creating so uh, self dot porosity means object dot porosity which i have told you which i have given you example right away all right so uh, yes and you can also use any other terms as well in place of self but the self is most preferred configuration so don't i i, I won't uh, suggest you to change this just use self because it is a most standard convection of uh, creating a class and object right so uh, let us do one more exercise okay now what you have to do is i'll just change this to assignment number i think i'm assignment number 19 let me check yes this one is assignment number 19 what you have to do is you just create a class what your class is you have to create a class by name well and which uh, takes the attributes like completion type a number of zones and depth of well and uh, you have to create three objects of your class well so by by class well what i mean is so there is a particular class well it it takes a different kind of wells right so but but if beat any kind of well you'll have you'll always have a completion type of well you'll always have the number of zones available and you'll always have depth of well right so uh do this assignment for your uh, by yourself uh, but still i'm going to give you the solution in the next video so i'll see you guys there but first write by yourself right i'll see you there thank you